Hello friends, in less than a century, the Walt Disney Company has transformed from a modest animation studio into a global entertainment powerhouse encompassing television, theme parks, streaming, and much more. Today the company owns renowned brands such as Pixar, Marvel, and Lucasfilm, and holds leading positions in various rankings. But how did they achieve this? Let's find out how the company continues to fulfill Walt Disney dreams and pave new horizons in animation even after he passing. Once upon a time, on December 5, 1901, a boy named Walter Elias Disney was born in a suburb of Chicago, destined to forever change the world of entertainment. In his early childhood, Walt and his parents moved to Kansas City, where his creative spirit truly awakened. Enthralled by the magic of animation, he eagerly enrolled in an art institute, thirsting for new knowledge. By the age of 18, Walt had already immersed himself in the world of illustration, and his path crossed with an artist named Ab Iwerks. United by their shared love for animation, they became inseparable friends, bringing their dreams of bringing beloved characters to life into reality. Over time, Walt and Ab decided to start their own business, but it didn't yield any fruits, so they had to close it down. However, they didn't give up and found work in the Kansas City Film at Company, where they created animation for advertising. Walt always had various ideas for creating cartoons, but his attempt to persuade the company to use his ideas was unsuccessful. After some time, he left the company and along with his friend, founded a studio called Love or Gram. During the studio's existence, they managed to create several short animated films for a local theater but their studio went bankrupt in 1923. Walt was only 21 years old, but his passion and talent knew no bounds. Deciding to start fresh, he and his friend headed to Hollywood, Los Angeles, where Walt's brother Roy helped them establish their Disney Brothers cartoon studio. Soon, at Roy's suggestion, the company changed its name to Walt Disney Studios. The first deal of Walt Disney Studios was made with New York distributor Margaret Winkler for the distribution of their Alice cartoons. The success of the Alice films led Disney to create Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. However, when offered to continue the series for a reduced fee, Disney refused and decided to pursue other projects. In 1928, Walt decided to create a character Mickey Mouse. Initially, Mickey didn't attract much attention. But then Walt Disney started voicing the character, and by 1930, Mickey Mouse became very popular, garnering admiration from notable figures such as Roosevelt and Mussolini. By 1935, sound and color were present in all of Disney's short films. In the following year, Disney released a new cartoon called Silly Symphonies, in which a skeleton dances in a graveyard to music. The original cartoon became quite popular, but as the cost grew due to more intricate animation and technical work, the profits from the cartoon were modest. The growing popularity of Mickey Mouse indicated that audiences loved to fantasize about small creatures with speech, skills, and human-like traits. This idea eventually led Walt to create other animal characters, such as Donald Duck and the dogs Pluto and Goofy. In 1933, Disney released the short film Three Little Pigs, which debuted during the Great Depression. The tale of a pig who works diligently and builds his house out of bricks against the threat of a menacing wolf symbolized resilience in the face of economic catastrophe. And the song Who is Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf was a cheerful mockery of adversity. It was during this period of economic hardship in the early 1930s that Disney gained the trust of audience worldwide and his company began to generate profits despite the crisis. However, Walt Disney didn't stop there. He had long envisioned creating full-length animated films in addition to the short ones, and in 1934, he started working on a version of the classic fairy tale, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Despite the crisis, the film earned an unimaginable $1.499 million and received eight Academy Awards. This encouraged Walt Disney Studios to continue working on full-length animated films. Subsequently, classics like Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, The Little Mermaid, 101 Dalmatians, and many others were released. In 1955, Walt Disney 
opened the first Disneyland amusement park in California, USA. This park became the world's first theme park and ushered in a new era in the entertainment industry. Over time, Disneyland became one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. Other Disney parks were subsequently opened in different parts of the world. Walt Disney also implemented numerous innovations in the field of animation, including the use of color film, the creation of films with three-dimensional animation, and the development of new technologies, such as the multiplane system, which allowed for more complex and detailed animated backgrounds. Walt Disney passed away in 1966, but his company continues to thrive to this day. His story serves as a timeless reminder that no dream is unattainable. Through ups and downs, triumphs and failures, Walt Disney relentlessly forged ahead, fueled by a passion that burned brighter than the stars. His journey was not without difficulties, but he never gave up and always sought to create a world where magic thrives.